identity is the new perimeter. We've all seen this in a lot of reports on where this is really where it's been uh, a lot of compromises happen. And so what you find out is maybe that line that's going across the perimeter isn't so definitive because we've got corporate infrastructure that's out there that's connecting to others, that's connecting through public networks. And when we start looking at that a little more, you know, we actually do have cloud and that's connecting to our inside and our external side. And now we're in a work from home environment. What are those work from home environments and the VPNs that are connecting? And so the real question we start asking is, how do you know? How do you know what that perimeter is, what that attack surface looks like so that you and that you're keeping up with it on a regular basis because it is constantly changing. And so here's the problem that we're finding is that our business is online, everything is the perimeter and our attack surface is growing. And so when we talk about that, we want to make sure that you can get an attacker's perspective. And so, Naveen, if you wouldn't mind just identifying here, when we talk about that attacker's perspective and external attack vectors, what exactly is Node Zero doing uh, on the outside that's just like an attacker would do? Yeah, I think, Monty, you make a really good point about what is the perimeter today, right? And uh, it, it's not just, you know, what are you exposing through the DMZ on the network? It's anything that's internet facing. Um, is really your perimeter. And there's so much data that companies are exposing um, that, you know, that those are assets. That's part of your perimeter. Um, if you have cloud services that you're using, you've got S3 buckets, you've got repos that you're hosting in GitHub um, that may have sensitive secrets, um, third-party services that you're using that might be exposing your data. That's all part of your perimeter effectively. So anything that an attacker can get access to public facing from the internet is you know, what I would call the perimeter. And so what does Node Zero do? It will look at identifying all of the assets that you're exposing. Um, so that includes you know, looking at source code repos like GitHub, uh, looking at all the different cloud services you're exposing, looking at Azure Active Directory, if you're using that, which Pretty much everyone is using Office 365 or some version. Um, looking at um, what kind of web applications you're exposing, um, your VPNs, your firewall. So it's an exhaustive process to get all of that in one place and then start thinking about how does an attacker try to attack those assets? What can they get from the data that they can use to pivot into other infrastructure? Um, what kind of vulnerabilities or misconfigurations are there? So that's, that's the overall process.